What's up, everyone? I'm here in London's Piccadilly Circus, their version of Times Square, and I'm going to be taking the London Underground or the Tube to Paddington Station. Today's date is Saturday, November 4th, 2023. The time is about 4.30 p.m. Temperature is 53 Fahrenheit, 12 degrees Celsius. This is what the London Underground looks like. This one serves the Bakerloo line and the Piccadilly line. Here the lines are named, even though they're colored, no one really refers to them by color. And just as luck would have it, we have a lot of delays and closures today on many of these lines. I don't see Bakerloo on this list though. But it does seem quite busy here in the tube station. The method of payment is Oyster card which you can get from one of the ticket machines for seven pounds and you could reload it. Or you can use a contactless payment option or your smartphone if it has Apple Pay, Google Pay, etc. And fares are based on distance traveled. If you travel within multiple zones, then you're gonna get charged a higher fare. Also, there's peak fares versus off-peak fares. It can get quite confusing, so it's best to refer to the um, Transport for London website to figure out what the fare you're gonna pay is. There's also a cap on how much you pay each day, as long as you use the same payment method. There's a few uh, machines that are down right now. This is uh, quite a crowd going in. Even more crowded than the New York City subway for paying into a gate. And I don't think there's any kind of special events today. They have more gates to get out than to get in, which is probably a good thing. Sometimes what I've experienced in the New York City subway where I'm from is that the uh, MTA will actually open the gates to let people in just to get the crowd going and only have to worry about the payment. It's important to tap in and tap out, otherwise the transport for London might charge you the maximum fare. All this due to broken machines to my left. I just pay with my credit card, just tapped it on the reader. I need to get the Bakerloo line, not Piccadilly line, to the Paddington station.
need to go northbound towards towards Harrow and Weltstone. This is actually my second experience riding the London Tube. The first time was on the Circle Line, which is coded yellow. And that one's kind of deceptive because it's not really a circle, there's actually a spur of it that goes past Paddington to Hammersmith. It even says paddings in here, so that's good. Hopefully the uh, train comes soon. Sounds like the train is coming soon. Looks like a fairly old train. Pretty wide doors. Or in this case, one door. That's a saying we're going to be hearing a lot. Mind the gap. Mind the gap, please. Mind the gap. Mind the gap, please. It's quite busy in this train, and uh, doesn't seem like there's any air conditioning. lights turn off here. <laughs> That's something I haven't experienced on the New York subway since the early 2000s. On the number seven line, the Redbirds. No smoking, which is good. There is a fan system here, but to be honest, this doesn't really work that well. As you can see, there's different zones for the stations. Paddington is the last zone, um, last station on zone one. That's seven stops I need to go. There's also priority seating. This seems to be one of London's older lines, the Bakerloo line, because the Circle line I rode yesterday, that had newer trains. Yes. There's Oxford Circus Station. For those of you who are unfamiliar, a circus is a road junction.
is a smooth ride though, but it's not that comfortable in here. The AC is not, there is no AC in here. So it's kind of stuffy. And this is the winter time too when, uh, well not winter, it's autumn. And it's already uncomfortable. Can you imagine the, the summer? system here doesn't work that well I can barely hear why this train is so old. Looks like that information sign says this station opened in 1863, one of the original stations on the world's first metro line. tube is how clean it is compared to the New York subway. It's actually pretty disgraceful to call a New York subway clean. how comfortable these seats are. Actually is a nice cushion, it's firm. Pretty cool. I wouldn't want to sit on that seat for a long time though. It would be rather uncomfortable. Two more stops. Try to 
try to pronounce that stop without knowing how to pronounce it. You'll, you'll probably be made fun of, but I believe it's Marlebone. See if we can hear what the announcement says it is. Oh wait, we already left that station. <laughs> Check it out. Hey, all right. <laughs> Have fun. Arguments on the two. Uh oh. That's not good. Next stop is Paddington, where I'm getting off. Nice that they have a tiny little map here, but still. You would get confused looking at it. And this is just the central London map. The larger map is even more complicated. the gap please mind the gap please pretty smooth ride on the london tube Street, you have to follow the sign that says way out and it's funny they still use the word exit but only for the emergency it's a pretty deep station Paddington To transfer, just follow the directions. This is a pretty busy station. It's also where the Heathrow Express uh, rail terminates. That directly connects to London Heathrow Airport, the busiest airport in the UK. Okay, so need to tap to exit. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That was a simple ride on the London tube. Anyway, if you want to see how to use the ticket machine, maybe a contactless payment isn't right for you. You can use contactless to pay as you go at the adult rate. No need to top up your Oyster car or buy a ticket. Uh, let's just say we want to go back to where we came from. Piccadilly Circus. It's cheaper to use a contactless car or device to pay as you go at adult rate for your journey. You see, even the screen's telling you it's cheaper. Here it's six pounds, 70. I think pay as you go is like less than three pounds. What's a day travel card? Oh, as many trips as you want for today. 15 pounds, 20, so they cap you even for up to zone six. So pretty cool. For me, I don't need any more um, transit cards. I have a huge collection already. Here's Paddington Station. Yes. Hey. He's actually the first person to call me my name in London on this whole trip. Let's get out of this rail station to the street. This goes towards the Elizabeth line, which is the newest line on the system. Opened in 2022, named after Queen Elizabeth. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoy that ride on the London Tube. Hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Take care.